then what were your thoughts uh, on seeing uh, what happened to Bernard? Uh, you know, it's a it's a part of the NFL. Uh, you hate to see anyone get cut, uh, but you know, it's just another part of the business. I wish him nothing but the best. I say to you about the team's confidence and you coming uh, back off PP off the uh, off season surgery and uh, just the confidence in your abilities. Uh, me myself, you know, I'm gonna just continue to take it one day at a time, you know. So that's my status. What has the grind been like for you, dog? You know, coming back from the knee last what eight months or so? Uh it's been a it's been a long one, you know. Like I talk about the dark grind all the time, you know. That's my own little thing. Uh, There's no light at the end of the tunnel, you know. You just gotta keep digging, keep digging, like that, and then keep digging because <laughs> it's, it's still going to be day to day. You know, you start to see the light at the end of the tunnel. You start to get complacent, you know, and uh, you get complacent in this league, you know. You got that, that one behind you still grinding, still digging. So, yeah. What's kind of the tone of in the building this week? It feels kind of like a game week, but you actually have two weeks. Do you feel like you're kind of trying different ways to take advantage of extra game prep? Uh, You know, every day we come in. You know, uh, meet as a team. We know the expectation. So, you know, like I said, uh, everyone know everybody in the NFL has turned the page. You know, to week one. So, uh, you know, we'll continue to uh, uh, get better each day. You know, leading up to week one. And uh, yeah. Speaking of week one, what did you think about the Pats naming Mac in the starter? Uh, definitely was a surprise, but you know, when you got to cut the 53, everyone around the league had big surprises and stuff like that. Like I said, just a part of it. And uh, now we know we'll be uh, getting ready for Mac. Atlanta, kind of piggyback, piggybacking off with this question. How different is the feel at practice now that the business of cutting the roster and getting kind of the team established at 53 has, has been taken care of? Uh, you know, you're going to have uh, stuff, crazy stuff this whole year. I mean, in this business, you know, it's going to be other teams make, you know, every team make all type of cuts throughout the year, you know, but all you can do is come and work every day, you know, uh, focus on your job and just, you know, continue to build on each day, you know. You you kind of, if you start thinking about all the distractions that go on in the NFL, you're not going to be able to do your job. So, you know, as a team, you know, we just block out distractions and uh, keep coming in every day and uh, knowing what we need to do to make sure we're getting better and the team getting better. Well, Landon, I just looked it up. There's only five guys on the whole defense with more NFL experience than you. That's kind of an interesting stat. There's not a lot of older guys in the room. Two of them are uh, McCourty and Jenkins. They're the only guys over 30. We're going to talk to Jenkins in a few minutes. What kind of an impact can older guys who have been around have on a team in a locker room beyond even just what they do on Sunday? Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I can tell you experience to a certain extent really don't mean nothing. You still got to come in every day, do your job, take your job serious. I mean, you can have the most experience on the team. and still putting yourself in bad situations and stuff like that. So, uh, like I said, as a team, you know, we just try to come in and get better each day, whether you been in the league 10, 5, rookie, you know, every day is a day to get better, and that's all we can worry about. Alana, with the, you know, there was a report out, and Flo told us today, you know, that two is the team's quarterback, and um, the fact that Flo told you guys in the team meeting or whenever you did meet that two is the quarterback, you know, what does that mean for you guys as his teammates? You know, on the other side of the ball, or just in general. Uh, who told y'all about our team meet? <laughs> y'all ain't gonna ride them out. But uh, nah. Each player come in each day. Uh, they got a job to do. To it, he come in each day. Very professional. You know, uh, like I said, age doesn't mean anything. He come in, uh, you know, with his best foot forward every day, like that. Uh, and. I mean, he's our quarterback, and like like Tua, uh, support each of his teammates. We support Tua, and you know, like I said, we're gonna take it week in and week out.